now we are discussing the header linked list well as we know that linked list is the combination of two things means every node is having two paths one is the info and one is the link and link part is pointing to the next node that is the linked list but here we are having the header linked list in the header linked list we are having one special node which is called head node which is added previous to the normal nodes so that is called the header linked list so it contain a special node called header node at the beginning of linked list so talking about the header linked list we are having two types so there are two types of header linked list these two types are the first one is the grounded header list and second one is the circular header list so first of all we are discussing the grounded header list now please pay attention on the diagram here you can see that there are three nodes which is the node 1 node 2 and node 3 these are the normal nodes and here we are having few elements which are stored there just like we are having 4 8 and 10 so these are the elements which are stored and now you can see that every node is having the pointer which is pointing to the next node but at the last we are having the null so that is indicating the null so one thing we should understand about the grounded header is that the last node always point to the null and second thing is that this is the header link list that's why you can see that there the first node is the header node we already taken this thing that the first node is the header node into the header link list and obviously this node is having the no meaning in talking about the information this node do not contain any information it is just like a header node so our start usually point to the header node and afterward it is pointing to the first node second and third and so on so this way the grounded header link list work so if we say that the last node contain the null pointer so that is the property of grounded header list is that the last node always point to the null you can see that the term grounded grounded means it is going to ground means null so everything is null here so term grounded indicate the null pointer talking about the grounded header list the start the start will always be pointing to the header node if we talk about the ordinary list in, in the ordinary list the start usually point to the first node but here the before the start we are having the header node where the start point so talking about the grounded header list here the start always point to the header node then afterward we are having the first node now there is a term just like if we say link start is equal to null now if such thing is present link start is equal to null that means grounded header list is empty now to understand this line first of all we should know one thing that in the link list every node is having the info part and the link part so there we are having the info part the normal nodes are having the info part and then the header node is also having the info part but that info part is no containing nothing it is the header node then talking about the second part it contain the link part so all the nodes which contain the link part so second part is the link part which is pointing to the next node so here you can see that the link part of first one is pointing to the next node it is pointing to the next node then this point is to the next node and the last one is pointing to the null because there we are having nothing afterward and that is the indication of the grounded list that the last node point to the null and obviously the start node the point to the first node and here the first node is nothing but the header node so the node which is meaningful to us it is not the header node the node which is meaningful to us is the which is having the information four so we want to reach there now but if this phrase is given to us so here you see link start is equal to null so first of all you see link start now this one is the start where the start is pointing start is pointing to the header node now afterward they are saying equal to null now assume that if here this link is pointing to null then obviously what will happen there is no node available so in that case obviously the meaning is that the list is empty so if link start is equal to null then we are assuming that link is empty so here this one is not the case because list contain many elements 
and the header node is not pointing to the null here. Now we are discussing the next type of header link list which is called the circular header list. Now talking about the circular header link list, there the last node point back to the header node. Now if we see the example which is given here, you can see that there are three ordinary nodes 1, 2 and 3 which contain the information 4, 8 and 10. There is one header node available which is at the first then afterward you can see that at last we are having the node which is pointing back to the start so whenever the last node which is 10 it is pointing back to the header node this is called the circular header link list now it is completely different from the grounded because in the grounded the last node was pointing to null but here the last node is pointing back to the header node now there is a term link start is equal to start now this term means that the circular header link list is empty now understand this with the help of the example let us suppose that we are having this link list and we know that every ordinary node is having the info part so first part is the info part of every node and talking about the second part which is called the link part so header node also have the link part which is pointing to the first ordinary node then afterward it is also having the link part which is pointing to the next node then further second is having the link part pointing to the next node and obviously this one the last one is pointing back to the start node so here the last node is going back and it is pointing to the start node that's why it is called the circular list and here this one so start is the pointer which is pointing to the header now here the expression is saying link start that is important link start we know that where the start is pointing start is pointing to the header node now here link part link start means start is pointing to header and their link part means we are talking about this link part and if this link part is equal to start means it is pointing back to this node then what that mean that means is that there is no element present so whenever the header node link part is pointing back to the header node obviously there is no element so that means the circular list is empty but here this is not the case because we are having multiple elements there we are having 4 8 and 10 so that's why this link list which is a circular link list is having the different different nodes like 4 8 and 10 so this is not the empty one so if we talk about the circular header link list then this header list these are always be circular means whenever we are taking a header list most of the time you will find that it is a circular until unless they are mentioning that it is a grounded list so if somebody asks you that take a header list you always be take the circular header so header list always be circular unless stated so the meaning is that this uh, header link list which we are taking will always be circular if, if it is grounded header then people will mention it now talking about one more thing header node act as the sentinel indicating the end of the list now to understand this i am taking an example let us suppose that this is my ordinary list which is a circular list these are some uh, blocks let us suppose that one two and three these are the nodes and these nodes are containing the further things like uh, info part and link part i am not taking it i am taking only three nodes so these are the three nodes now if i talk about a circular list then this is pointing to the next node it is pointing to the next node and afterward it is pointing back to the first node obviously we are having a start here let us suppose that there is a start which is pointing to the first node now the start pointer task is to initiate with the list supposingly i am mentioning the names also one two and three now start has started the list now we have gone through the first node then afterward we are going on the next node to next node three then we are going back and afterward we are on the node 1 again going on the node 2 3 so this is becoming an infinite loop that we are not aware where to stop because if i apply a normal condition 
in a grounded list or maybe any of the list we are assuming a ordinary list let us suppose that the start pointer is there and the end pointer is there which is pointing to null so we can simply apply some of the for loop or any kind of loop that it will start from the start and end till null but here how i will stop it because once i start it is like an infinite loop so there is no ending now here the circular header list comes into picture where we apply and add one header node and that header node is applied in between and when that header will come we are understanding that this is our second circle so here we are adding one more header node and now this pointer is going to the header so this way if the loop is going now this header will come in between every time and so we are counting that three times we have traversed so if i talk about the normal circular link list then there how many time we have traversed we are not aware but if header is imposed in between in a circular header link list then how many time we are traversing that we can count because every time header will come in between so that is the advantage of circular header link list that's why it is mentioned that header node acting as a sentinel indicating end of the list so every time the header node encounter we must know that yes this is the end of the list we have traversed all the elements it will save us for going to the infinite loop now we are discussing the special type of header link list so now we are discussing the special type of header list and that one is the list which contain header and the trailer node so now we are having the list with the header and the trailer you can see that in this list we are having a header node this one is the header node and then afterward at the end of the list we are having the trailer node so if the both nodes are there then this is called the special type of list which contain header and the trailer so we can say that this list contain special header node at the beginning and trailer node at the end of the list now i'm telling you one important thing about the header link list we know that we have modified the normal list or the ordinary list with the header but remember one thing there is one more list which is called avail list which contain the free nodes that means the free spaces which are available onto the memory that available list cannot have the header never ever so we can say that data may be maintained by header list in memory but the avail list will be always be ordinary list the meaning is that the normal link list which we are using for storing the elements just like 3 7 9 any elements we are taking we can convert that to header link list grounded or maybe circular not a problem but available list cannot be converted to the header link list the reason is that there we are storing the free memory which is available on to our system so that cannot be converted so available list will always be the ordinary and the normal list can be the header or can be the ordinary that depend upon the person so that is the important thing about the header link list now we are discussing the difference between header list and the ordinary list so now we are understanding the difference between the header list and the ordinary list so first of all we must understand that first node is after the header node in the header link list which is not very first like the ordinary list the meaning is that the first node if we consider which is meaningful to us in a header link list that is after the head node so you can see that this is the first node where we are having the value 4 which is containing the data and link part and this first node is after the header node so this is the header node this is after and if we talk about the circular link list also here you can see that in the circular header this one is the first node and it is after the header node so here the first node comes after the header node this is the header link list in both ways grounded as well as circular but if you talk about the ordinary their first node is the first node it never come after somebody so here the first node is the first it is not beyond somebody else so that is the first difference between the header and the or it ordinary list now talking about the next thing which is a difference if we talk about the header link list then location of first node is link start but if we talk about the ordinary then it is the normal start 
so now if you talk about the header link list then there the first node we know that the first node is this one which is after one the header node and we know that every part every node is having two parts one is the info part and second one is the link part so here we are having all the info parts every node in every list is having the info part so if i talk about the first one it is the info part again talking about the next we are having the info parts these are the info parts then talking about the ordinary also we are having the first part as the info part now the next part is the link part so here you can see that these are the link part which is pointing to the next node so these all nodes are having second part as the link part which is a pointer pointing to the next node in the ordinary as well as the other list so talking about here in the header list header also have the link part but header don't have the info part header is the normal header which usually have the header information plus the link part now talking about the first node first node if we talk about the header link list that is the link start so understand this where the start is pointing the start is pointing to the header node and header node link part where it is pointing here so that means what is the first node first node is the link start so here we are mentioning link starts that's why now talking about the circular header link list where the start is pointing start is pointing to header node and where the link part is pointing this link part is pointing to the first node that's why in the header link list whether it is grounded or the circular the first node will be the link start so here four is the first node and here also the four is the first node which is coming as the link start to reaching the first node it is the link start we have to mention but talking about ordinary list normal start is pointing to the first node so there is no link or something it is directly pointing to the first node because this is the first node so it is the start start is pointing here directly so that is also the difference between header list and the ordinary list now one more thing circular header list are easier to state and implement so more frequently used instead of the ordinary list so if we just mean that then circular header lists are very much easy to understand because everything is very much simple there is a header place and everything is simple to understand and also implementation is very easy so we morally prefer that that circular header list should be there rather than the ordinary list so this is more important that mostly we prefer the circular header list now circular header list is having very good advantage over the ordinary list as well then that good advantage is that circular header list do not have the null pointer and there all the pointer contain the valid addresses so this thing is very much important because if i compare the circular header list with the ordinary list then in the ordinary list we are having the null pointer which is at the end and even in the grounded header we are having the null pointer now that null pointer is pointing where at some memory or somewhere we don't know it can be a garbage so that is invalid thing but if i talk about circular the last node is pointing back to the header so this one is more important that there is no null pointer and if no null pointer is there all the pointer are having the valid addresses so that is the difference between the header and the ordinary list